Hey, how's it going, y'all? The world is gonna end in two hours. I made some coffee, I woke up too early, and now I'm gonna have to be live while I wait for the pet stone. Uh, but yeah, on the major news, um, I am selling now my pen Dandaloon. Just because they announced the Awakening Black Star, and y'all know that the Black Stars look dope yeah just black star looks in general dope as hell so i really wanted so i decided to do it especially with now with the fact that i got the uh shimmering piece of old moon which is five percent extra tax to my corner and i also have the specter's energy which is another black star technically item i, I assume we're gonna get the awakening maybe like i don't know two months from now or something i don't know maybe on christmas maybe they're gonna give it to us as a christmas present or something but but yeah just wanted to announce that i am selling that i really didn't want to sell any pen weapons especially the pen dandy or pen kudum pen kudum i'm not gonna sell unless they release another black star like why would they release a pen kudum when we have a newer kudum is already a black star right because it's already focused on pve damaged and newer is like pv P pvp damage so black star kudum question mark oh, they're gonna do it right <laughs> uh but yeah full black star is the the way to go now i'm gonna go do imperials uh hopefully you're having a great time i don't know where the video is now gonna go but hopefully you're gonna join with me i also need to start cleaning up the i i went to uh, try to get the new crystal and i got turn break and uh durability so extra three green crystals i farmed for a long time and I got screwed again. <laughs> These are the small highlights. This is the quest that you need to take every single day if you do this uh, for the extra something. So yeah, I killed the first like Rashan. I got the knowledge, see knowledge. It wasn't anything like important. Killed the second one and killed the third one. And actually I got a couple of green ones from just regular mobs from the Nine Sharks and uh, Black Rust. Yeah, it was wonderful actually. Just the turn break crystals, which kind of helps towards the blue crystal hopefully i'm not gonna roll it too bad on that major roll but yeah, we're now back to imperial pucking by the way this screenshot right here i am rng carry today so that means i'm gonna have to go and uh, prep for another tier 10 attempt because i got five mythical feathers from the marketplace which was actually wonderful and i got a costume because of the current black friday sale i assume everybody's listing this stuff Ooh. I don't know if I need to buy anything here. I mean, this is good. 10 pearls, yep, that's good. Um, but yeah, the premium uh, value pack, maybe. What's up with her eyes, though? Interesting costume. Cool, cool feathers. Hey, see? Better. You can see her face. No, she's just horny. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, there's the Shikatu boxes, right? Uh, let's see like herself. Two Shikatu boxes. Wait what manos market is dead ah this is gonna kill the market that's a rip and a half right there fillers a whole billion i mean i'm down what else are we gonna do with silver resets at what a bill every single day i don't have a bill every single i mean i can just need to sell pan dandy if you know what i mean Anyway, moving on with the video. So let's begin from the top. I need old mus uh, mu Musa. I, I don't need an old Musa. So yeah, you go to the old moon uh, cellar, which is uh, around these here parts. What's up, fella? Old moon manager. Uh, then just buy the 20 mil item. 20, 20, 20, 20 mil. Boom stonks. Put those boxes there. Put the crystals down below here. Wait, yeah, what? Another sealed? We're getting so many event stuff. Stop. Anyway, got this. Then on the market, you should be able to see pretty much every single pure material because they are not that rare. If not, then you can craft these by using metal solvent, which is more rare, but at the prices currently, uh, it's actually more available every single month. It used to be pretty much very hard to get it due to adventure logs, but now they're pretty much stabilizing because everybody was done with the adventure logs the only problem that i might encounter is with opals jk they're not so you like yourselves 100 moonlike opals 
pure chin check, pure opal check, pure platinum check, and pure copper. So now we actually can make a uh, old moon incense burner. Manufacture, boom, 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 boom. So now we actually need to go sell some horses. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive. Every single one of them is a Corsair, which makes the horse very expensive. So yeah. So in total, I will need to spend, uh, I have 56. I need to get a hundred of these horse market. I'll try to buy that tier seven that I just saw that one, right? Oh, 16 one. There you go. Boom. So now I have 56. Now I have what I've recovered half of the money, half of the money, and I got 15. Yeah, I got 15, which is actually wonderful because I need two more tier sevens and I'm good. That was good. Oh, that's a good one. The Red Dragon. Sorry, Red Dragon. It's a great name, but you're going down as well, buddy. Yep, 15. That's actually incredible. So then I need another tier seven and I'm good. Any cheap tier sevens? That one is cheap. 72 mil. And Imperial Horse Nutella. It's actually a great idea. 101, nice. Imperials are not that hard. Plus you get like your money back. So I was never worried about Imperials. As you can see, I only spent, what, 200 mil? And I got the, uh, also, yeah, I got some cash back. Okay, what's the next one? Fern roots. Also everlasting herb. So that's easy. I think I even have it in my storage. So 100. Fruit of enhancement and uh, powder, which is always useful. So now I'm going to go do the daily and that's pretty much it. Like the next thing is the hardest one, which I told you it's the dreamy feather. So I can actually give you a slight tutorial while we go there because it's actually on the way. The mythical feathers are incredibly rare to get just because currently, maybe in the future, they will hopefully change. Maybe not what you just pre-order for the market and hope for the best like I just did. Uh, because I don't know about you, but I don't really gather. Although it's pretty much the most profitable life skill out there uh, with a combination of cooking. Yeah. And then grinding. And I don't know about you, but I'm not an efficient grinder and... On a lucky hour, I get two little petals in an hour with the loot scroll and all that. It's incredibly rare and opening little petals are just going to be faint, glimmering, faint, glimmering. Yeah, you go here. You exchange. I think I have four. You get the quest. You give two. And you get the quest. You give two. And then uh, you open up. Hope for the best. Oh, sh oh I should go brilliant. I actually got one brilliant, um, but that means that you can go exchange with the middle lady. You press exchange for a feather. Even if you're not going for a tier 10, do it up because it's literally 20 mil for a fairy instead of going here for uh, six, which is only six mil. So make some stonks and sell them into the uh, mythical feathers. Yeah, you need also 10 flames, which is easy and fire horns, which is also easy. We just need now the farm roots, which I have only a couple. But yeah, while you're doing this, a little tip: just don't forget to talk to this little girl, and uh, it's gonna give you a free free materials. Also, you go to Vapra. He's like, "Hey, go catch my horse for a weekly." I think that one is actually level uh, tier three, so perfect. So I will need to come back here and uh, yoke myself with tier three. Also a little tip, you don't have to ride on the slow horse here on the way to stable. It can use your main horse. The horse you will follow. See? Easy. Yoink. Free tier 9 material. And let's get 30 of these. And now there's a daily. If you're artisan, you get three. You need to get your tier three. But I just saw a tier three there. So let's go back and take it back. I like to give it three sugars. I don't know. There's a some kind of mechanic with the sugars. I just give it three. Hope for the best. Easy tier three. Come here, horsey. And boom. 
By the way, the Momo, the uh, horsey, we are trying to get the tier, na tier 9 again. We're not really trying, but like, the using up the free materials is at plus 6. And extra 3 materials. And we can uh, attempt it on Thursday. But I'll probably wait until again, like Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. I'm now gonna go uh, turn on the stream and start streaming while this video it goes live. This was a little quick tutorial how to uh, obtain all the tier nine mat tier 10 materials, sorry. And next week we're gonna attempt it, which is gonna be on 28th, 29th. So um, yeah, if you wanna join up, you're more than welcome. Um, I also open up the, all the boxes on the 28th, 29th. So it's gonna be one of those bigger streams if you wanna join in. Yeah, thank you. Good luck with your tier 10 attempts if you are gonna attempt it. If not, well, start packing the uh, my mythical feathers. That is the only bottleneck in my opinion. Other thing is pretty much easy. You can even uh, do the weekly, which is just catch a horsey, which is fairly easy and you get 30. You don't need to do the daily, which is gonna be annoying, like uh, catching a specific type of horse for your level. So yeah, those are my tips. Hopefully, uh, they're they hopefully they helped you hopefully we can sell that uh dandaloon uh so we can prep for the awakening whenever it comes out what it's gonna come out next summer i don't know when it's gonna come out but yeah enjoy the rest of your day and uh yeah